No, no. What? My name is Jenna, and I'm a Leave No Trace steward. Well, I'm here lighting my fire. And you want to warm up by it? I'm sorry, but you can't build a fire like that. You sorry, have to you build a fire on an established fire pit. Really? You have to. All of your fires need to be on durable surfaces. Well, I don't know how to do that. Where should I do that? We can do that over here at one of our established grills. No way! Okay. Let me show you how. Alright. <laughs> Hi, my name is Morgan, and I'm going to show you how to build a fire in an established fire ring. Now, you are not allowed to have fires anywhere where an established fire ring or pit is not already at. If you don't have one, you can build one using rocks in a circle. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is an established fire pit, and if we were to build a fire in here, we would be A-OK advisable. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Using sticks from the ground that I found in the area not did not take from live trees, I'm going to start to build my fire. Now, when building your fire, you want to make sure to make it only the size that you need it. So, if you're having a giant, you don't need a giant campfire just to cook on and keep some warmth for you. Now, this should start sort of reasonably. You're pretty good at making fires, guys. You would not know it by this. Two hours later. Let's start our fire. It's important that once you have your fire established, you make sure that trees and overhanging branches in the surrounding area are not going to catch on fire. So then you have the risk of starting a forest fire and you'll be responsible for all damages and paying, paying the state to clean that up. Now once your fire is going, you don't want to leave your fire. And then make sure when your fire is done, you let it burn down to ashes and then you just spread the ashes out and completely douse them in water. has been completely burned out, you need to get water or sand. But in this case we're going to use some snow and put our or, uh, put out our ashes. <laughs> I 
and we're going to completely douse our fire. Mix that around, make sure everything got put out. And then once you know that your fire is out, you're then going to spread the ashes, disperse them in the area, and then you have practiced a, a fire on a durable surface per leave no trace rules. Another way you can enjoy open flame is with my handy dandy candle. This is acceptable because it's in a contained surface and it can easily be put out. Toasty. And then when you're done, voila! where there is no established fire ring and you still want to get a little heat, maybe you're hungry, you can always use your fire, your camp stove. I already have mine going and I've got my pot here so I'm gonna make myself some food. If you also need some extra heat at night, you can boil some water and put it in your water bottle so you can sleep with it at night in your sleeping bag. And thanks for watching this video. Brought to you by the letter M to minimize campfire impact. I got your other piece. I'm here to tell you how to build a s I can't do that. That's why. Now, you can't. <laughs> You're not allowed.